so dear friends today i want to teach you how to calculate the heat transfer or area of this reactor so now uh, let's draw a reactor sample so this is i have drawn a sample of a reactor now i need to calculate the area of this reactor so for that we need to know the height of the reaction mass in this reactor let's say like this this is the height of the reaction mass now there is one thumb rule take l by d ratio as 1.3 this is a thumb rule you need to remember this now in sequential form first we need to calculate the volume of the reaction mass inside reactor and the second one thing heat transfer area of the reaction mass which is going to be useful to calculate the other theoretical aspects like condenser area the heat transfer area like that for example uh, this is a reactor of 200 liter that means 2.0.2 kl reactor is there now uh, to calculate the area or a volume of a reactor we need two things first this cylindrical part and then this torsospherical head so for the cylindrical part the volume how to calculate this volume so uh, you already studied this there is one simple pi by 4 d square into l this is the volume of this cylindrical part plus the second one there is torsospherical head volume so we need to remember now this is one equation this is a thumb rule like equation that is pi by 24 d q this you need to remember whenever there is a problem of to calculate the torsospherical head volume now this l becomes here l by d is equal to 1.3 so l is equal to 1.3 into d replace in this equation and resolve the equation so when i resolve this this becomes the volume is equal to 1.15 dq so now we know v is equal to 2.0.2 kl so we can calculate the d and from d so d and l we can calculate very easily now it's turn to calculate the heat transfer area of reactor when i solve the d and l i get d is equal to 0.5 meter and l is equal to 0.7 meter now to calculate the heat transfer area i divide this cylinder into two parts what are the two parts first you cut down the cylinder from middle and lay down on a surface so it becomes like this a rectangle so for the heat transfer area is equal to first for the cylinder we need to calculate the perimeter of this rectangle plus sorry in two we need to calculate the length of cylinder so we all know the perimeter of rectangle is equal to pi d into the length of cylinder that we know into l we have d we have l so we can easily calculate the heat transfer area of the cylindrical part let's say i need not to uh, you know the calculate let assume something like 1.3 like that uh, this is meter square 
now we have remained the the torospherical part so for that uh, i simply tell you a very good thumb rule this is the v1 is equal to 1.3 meter square so for this this is a cylindrical part this is the torospherical part take 10% of v1 so 10% of v1 becomes 0.13 meter square add so we will easily get 1.43 meter square see so this is the way to calculate the heat transfer area of reactor without knowing the dl values by only from the volume of reactor thank you so much